Hello guys, here is the next part of the Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial for the inventory. And this time I want to show you how to inherit from C++ base classes and how to combine these implementations with blueprints. So let's jump right into the part where we stopped with our pickup actor and open Visual Studio. And the first thing I want to do is to add a new property to give the pickup actor or this pickup item a name. This will be a string and the name of the variable will be name. Okay, and I want to add a method. This is a virtual method, will be explained in one of the next tutorials for OOP. And the name of this method is onInteract and it will be called when the player is interacting with this item. Now here's a cool trick in Visual Studio for the implementation. Just right click this and add create definition or declaration and it is automatically implemented in the CPP file. And I think for the implementation, I want to debug out which item is picked. We can use the existing code here in the on begin overlap when the player is overlapping the box component. This is just copy and paste. And instead of using the get name of this component, we use the new property name that we added. Now let's compile. Okay, we don't receive any errors. And instead of calling destroy here when the player is overlapping, we call on interact. Okay, now let's switch back to the Unreal Editor. And then I want to show you how to add a derived class from this base class. Just right click on this and then choose create derived C++ class from pickup actor. We will call this yeah, let's say we will create a pickup for a golden coin. Let's call this pickup gold coin and press create class. All right, and now let's create a second one. Again, right click. Derive a new C++ class and this one will be called pickup silver coin. Then we will have two C++ classes, two implementations, a silver coin and a golden coin. Let's return to Visual Studio. And then you can see that these two classes and also the files, the header and the CPP files are added to the solution. Okay, great. And now let's come to blueprints. Right click here on the golden coin and select create blueprint for this pickup actor. And we call this BP underscore pickup gold coin. And when you create this blueprint, the editor is opening up. And this blueprint can be used as a kind of template to define the gold coin mesh and also the name of this item. You do this once and then you can use this blueprint to drag it into your scene as often as you like. Now let's select the mesh. This is the gold coin here. I will increase the scale and change the rotation of this mesh directly in the blueprint. Okay, and now I will define the name. And the name is Goldcoin. Then let's compile, close this, and after that I do just the same for the silver coin.
Awesome, now we have two blueprints that we can drag into our scene. Here's the golden coin and the silver coin. Now let me return to Visual Studio for the implementation of the pickup actor and I will call destroy in the onInteract method just that we see that something is happening when the player is interacting but in a later tutorial I will override the onInteract method in the derived classes to add special implementations there. Perhaps the player will earn more money for the gold coin than for the silver coin, or there is a weapon to pick up, who knows. This logic can be implemented in the derived classes. But the base implementation will be that the item is picked up and added to an inventory. And to store these pickup items in a dynamic list, and to display them on the screen and make them selectable for the player, this will be the topic of one of the next tutorials. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified when new tutorials are available. Thanks a lot for watching this and I really hope you come back soon to my channel, to JNM.